Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and this is for hashtag Base Pages PT, which is hosted by Jessica at Paper Terrace. And my day is Flip. This is for base pages for junk journals, and if you've been following along, I've gotten many, many tips and lots of examples of things we can use to just make the base pages with. So today I have a an old scarf and I have some paper doilies, and I have a lot of scrap papers, and some scraps of lace. I am going to use all of these things to make some flips for junk journals. I already have it all planned, all of my flips, just so I would save time because I wanted to do more than one. I wanted to do just a few of my favorites, and I love to do flips in junk journals. So I have quite a few. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. This will be the first flip. I'm going to use the scrap piece of lace and I'm going to use this beautiful crow from DigiKit by Creating with Joe. So I'm going to do a double flip, actually. I'm going to put this the page down first, glue it, that we can flip it up and you can journal on those two pages and then put the lace over the top of this and that will be a flip on top of the paper. I think that works out nicely. Let me go ahead and glue this on. Just need a little bit of glue. So I am going to staple the lace. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to Jessica for inviting me to participate in this collaboration. This is going to be a really beautiful opening page for this journal. So let me get this. I'm going to pull it down a little bit so I can see the top. I'm just going to fold this over a couple of times. And I'm going to staple it. Go ahead and turn it around be easier for me but I want it out far enough so that when you turn the page that it doesn't it isn't too bulky there go ahead and staple it there I think that just looks great so we have a flip up of lace and then we flip up just the paper you can journal there and there makes a beautiful opening page let's go to the next one this flip is going to be a lot of little flips i really like to do this one with all different kinds of papers but these are just some scraps that i had left over so i'm going to utilize them I went ahead and round cornered them just to save a little bit of time, but I want to strategically place them so they're layered. I think that will be fun. And if you don't have scraps, then just use some index cards. I like to use index cards also. I'm going to ink these edges just a tiny bit because you really can't see that one. Let me get some aged mahogany. Let's take the bottom one first. Just put a little bit of color on there. Doesn't need a lot. I do want to keep them in order. There, I think you can see them much better now. I like that. That is looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and start with the bottom one first. I'm just going to put glue on the very top. 
of the page. This one, I want it to be the, as close to the bottom as possible. There we go. And let me just lay them out a little bit so I'll have a better ideal of the placement. Okay, this one needs to be about there. Not too fussy, they're not perfect. You can use, if you want to use cardstock, you can, but I do like to use paper or something lightweight like an index card because it's just easier to flip them up and down and they don't make such a big bulk in your journal. There, that looks really cool. You can just flip them up, journal on them, or you could put, or you could uh, glue pictures under there, or any number of things. I do have this digital from that digital kit from Creating with Jovi. I think these are really pretty. Oh, I think I like that one best. I want to go ahead and put this down here. I don't know if we'll get all the decorating done in this video, but I want to, if I can, do a little so you can see what it looks like. Just putting a simple picture on it, how it dresses up your page. This looks really nice. Just putting one butterfly on there. I think it really looks really nice. And the red also lipened it up, I think. So there's my second flip. And these are just a few of my favorite ones. And this flip, there. This flip is just packing paper. Anybody has packing paper. So what I want to do, and I went ahead and cut it out, and packing paper is thin, so I like to fold it over the page like that so it has a little bit more stability but I love that sound and I love to use packing paper because it's free <laughs> I've already cut it out and what I think I'm going to do is I have a rose stamp here it is let's go since she has some roses in her hair and I have inked up around this digital in red. I think we're going to just go ahead and use the aged mahogany and put some roses on it. Might work better this way. There. Let's see, I'm probably gonna have her about in the middle. So let's go ahead. It'll be light because that's a pretty dark brown, but a hint of roses is nice. I do like to go ahead and stamp on my packing paper then for later use. Oops, that was kind of wild. <laughs> Probably need one coming down from here. That's pretty. I like that. Just a little bit. Let's see how she looks in there. I think that looks really pretty. I think we do need right here. Let's just put a little bit right in there. There, there we go. Okay, I think we just about have enough. That 
did not. There we go. Okay, got it on there. That turned out nice. I like that. So what I'm going to do is just have it right there. So we just want to put some glue here on this piece. get her glued down. I think she's going to look really nice right there. Do we want to do farther down so we can put something else up there? I think that looks really pretty down here with the there above her. I think that's pretty. Let's do that. There, I think that is really pretty, very nice. Sure we got that glued. Now we have a flip that way and it's made out of packing paper. Oops. <laughs> I like that. Okay, let's go to the next one. There are so many ways to do flips. It is so fun. This one, I don't have to glue that down yet. Let's get this glued down. And I went ahead and toffee dyed these. They were stark white, but I toffee dyed them. And I think that they're blending in, <laughs> really blending in. So let's just pop some red down on these. Just around, just a little bit on each of them. I think that will make them show up a little bit better. out nicely. So do we want, I think we want this one to be the top one, but I don't want any lace sticking over the edge because they are kind of fragile. So I think I'm going to just trim off this one side. Let's see, let's trim off about probably maybe an eighth of an inch. Let's see how that works. That's much better. That way it doesn't hang over the edge. But this one, I want these to be glued on this straight edge over here. So they flip this way. So let's go ahead and get this one glued down. One will be here. So we want this one about right there. Okay. And this one right about there. Oh, 
Okay, I think that looks nice. That red ink really brought these to life. You can flip them up like that. Journal on the back. I think that turned out really nice. I like that. Okay, let's see how wet that is. Okay, we're gonna wait a moment and then we'll carry on. Okay, I think that's pretty good. But that looks really pretty, I like that. And you could use just a circle or a square or you can use any shape at all. It doesn't have to be a doily. And let's go to this flip. It's going to be another full page flip really pretty paper and what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and glue these pretty roses black roses down on this I'm going to put I'm going to glue this. Let's see. I think I want this open this way. Don't think we have one that direction. We do. We do have the. Uh, we do have one opening that direction. A flipping up that direction. It is the packing paper. But this one looks totally different. It's way different shape. You can do a flip in any shape. Okay, so this is going to flip that way. Very nice. And I think I want to go ahead and glue this at the top. I think that would give us the most space to journal. Unless we did a flip to the side. Hmm. This one is already to the side. Then if we flip this one, why don't we just do this one on the side? How about that? That works out nicely. Plenty of spaces to journal. Let me make sure this one is not sticking. No, it's doing well. Okay, we have one more flip. And this is the old scarf. <laughs> and you can use any material, but I was going to throw that away anyway because it had so many snags in it, but I cut a piece off that didn't. I used my pinking shears and that was still very difficult to cut, but I got it cut. I just flicked some gold, really inexpensive. I just flicked some gold acrylic paint onto it just to give it a little bit of color. I thought that turned out really pretty. And I have another digital. It's so pretty. Look at her. She's so pretty. Just wanted to use her also, and I'm going to do the same thing, but this will be just with material rather than with lace. I think it'll turn out just as nice, and I want to do it, let's see, do we want her to flip up also? I don't want it to flip down. I just don't think that's what we want. I don't know, I don't have any that flip down, do I? Let's do it. Let's just go ahead and do the flipping down. That'll be cool. Not sure what that's holding on, but <laughs> I took it off. <laughs> that looks good. Okay. Now we want this to be up here. Here. I didn't think that out very well, did I? Let's see if it's stuck. No, it's not stuck yet. Good. Okay. That was almost a catastrophe. We need this to be lower. We need this to be as far down as it can be. There we go. Now I've thought it through. <laughs> That is funny. Now we have space up here. Let's see, I 
think I'm going to wonder if I have room to just barely fold it over the back. so that it's easier for me to hold on to. I'm going to go ahead and staple this. There we go. That's a little bit tougher to go through than that lace was. I think that just turns out so pretty. And we will come back and add, you know, some ribbon and things like that if we want to. But I think it looks pretty just like it is. Just to flip it up, those copper staples just aren't real noticeable. Flip that up. And did we get it? We sure did. <laughs> we did. We stapled it. Hold on. We'll fix it. We got it. There we go. Now we just need to trim that off a tiny bit. There. Always fix things when you're a junk journaler. <laughs> okay, now that is just great. I like that. So you can flip it up there and pull it down here and journal there. That looks nice. Let's go backwards here and see if we... Here's this flip to the side and to the side. And then here are our doilies. Just flip those up, journal on them. Or you could put pictures here and then you could write about each picture. That would work nicely. I think it turned out pretty. And then we have the packing paper flip. Lots of space to journal. Well, this is actually a flip, too. And then the vellum envelope, that flips out. And then we have this flip. We'll flip each one of these up. And let's see, what else do we have? And then we have the front, which is the lace flip up. And the bird you can journal there i think they turned out nicely i hope that you got some inspiration and some ideals from at least one of these and i could can hardly choose one favorite so i just put quite a few in here and this is for hashtag base pages pt which is hosted by jessica at paper terrace and i'm bex with black whisper crafts thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful crafty day.